Casper, it's great to talk yeah. to you again. <laughs> you too, man. I love the poster in the background. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I got to tell you, I love The Flood. Oh, my God. I absolutely loved it. It was a great, like, popcorn action flick. And one of the best things about the film was your character arc. I thought that was, like, one of the best things about the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I loved, uh, I loved, I loved this character because he's not all bad and he's not all good. Uh, so I like that he has an arc and I appreciate that you, you saw that because that was one of the key things. Cause when they pitched it to me, they go, Casper, this is assault on precinct 13 meets con air meets anaconda, but with alligators. <laughs> there you go. That, that's and I was like, Oh man, that's cool. <laughs> and that's then I read, awesome. I love the different characters and I liked that everybody didn't have it. I even like what Louie was doing. Cause he was playing this this bad guy, but then he has a moment, even when he hands the gun to the cop, I'm like, what? You know, it's just like these moments that are just so surreal. Cause I think there's different moments you get surprised by all the different characters. Yeah, exactly. And you've worked with Brandon on a, on a number of films. I mean, yeah. God, I, I, I mean, that dude's awesome. I always love talking to him about his, yeah. his films and, you know, he just like, I just want to get, I just love the fact that he got to do this one as well. What was it like working with Brandon on this film? Because I know you recently did Battle of Saipan, as, Battle for Saipan as well. Yeah, I love doing Battle for Saipan with him. It was a lot of fun. Um, uh, that movie, I think he did a great job with, and Louis was incredible in it, and Ian, Ian was great in it, and my wife did a great job in it, and her friends, and everybody involved, Damon Hill and producing it, and everybody on that. I, I love that movie. And so when they asked me to come do this one, and they pitched it like they pitched it. I was like, I'm all in. And then they said they had Nikki Whalen, who they all loved. But then when I met her, I called my wife up and I'm like, you're gonna love this girl. And she's like, really? And I go, yeah, she came on set and now they're really good friends. They're both such sweethearts. So it made sense to me. Yeah, Nikki is great in this movie too. I and mean, she was a total badass. I mean, I've seen her in other films where she doesn't show this side, but here I was like, holy cow, she really gave it her all in this. Like she was so cool to work with. She was such a badass and she's just cool. And she's just kind. And I'm, of course, she's beautiful and funny and she's got all that going for her. She's really good. Um, and she's just a kind person. So, uh, like I said, my wife and I adore her. We love her. If we were living in California, we'd hang out with her all the time if we could. Um, she's just a cool chick. So it was fun to work with her. And I love Louie. Louie's just. Oh, yeah. That, he, he, I was going to tell him today, but he's going to be in my World Film Geek Hall of Fame this year. So I was going to give him the big surprise about that. And, uh, oh, he's gonna be in the what Hall of Fame? The world, the World Film Geek Hall of Fame. He's joining oh. it this year, so he's oh, good for him. He's so good, he deserves it. Yeah, exactly. And one thing I absolutely loved, and I remember Brandon was telling me how he shot this was your fight scene against Louis. Like you guys are in like knee deep water, and yet you're still throwing like practical martial arts stuff at each other. And I was just like, my my mouth literally like hit the ground. I mean, that must have been a crazy scene to shoot. It was, it was intense to shoot. It was the last day, last scene, that water. So we're in an abandoned building. It's been abandoned for 20, 40 years. And it's rat infested, snake infested. They cleaned it out and then made it waterproof and filled it up with water. So we're getting in clean water in the morning, but then everybody's going in in clothes and it's raining outside. So we're going in with mud and the water's getting muddy. People are getting dunked under and they come up and you know, the snot comes out of your nose and you see it and there's floaters and you can yeah. see cockroaches. That's in the beginning of the day. By lunchtime, you can't see the water. It's just so muddy. By the end of the day, it's so disgusting and you're so grossed out. And there's always the threat of a snake or a rat in there. Yeah. Or something else. <laughs> so it, it's just so like that last scene where he shoves my head underwater. Last scene. Oh. Last Hey, last scene, last day of all of the whole thing. Oh my gosh. I, I can imagine you were just like, you're probably, I bet you were like so nauseous watching like when that happened. I was so sick and I, it was disgusting, but we had so much fun doing that scene anyhow, even in the midst of all that. Now, if somebody asked me, will I go in that water? There'd be a hell no, but on camera, yes, a hell yes. I always do that kind of stupid stuff. 
Yeah, and I remember one thing that really surprised me was Louie wearing combat boots, and he does a flying knee strike out of the water to you. Yeah. That's the move. I was just like, did that just really happen? Because I never would imagine he would be able to do that, in, not let alone combat boots, but in knee-high water. Like, is that yeah. so that was that was actually, at that point in time, it was waist-deep water. Oh, we, yeah, that's right. We, yeah, so at that point... I've tried stuff like that. I've tried kicking out of water and like that. The weight is so like heavy. And I'm like, how did he do, how did he do that? That's just like, that's insane. We, we worked that out together and he is great martial artist that he can do that kind of stuff. But it is a team effort because we both have to help each other on that. But he is that good. And the thing is, you, we do those in pool. When we're just, you know, barefoot and in a bathing suit. But with all that equipment on, and on those boots on, but also the socks, the short, the, the jeans with the pockets, oh the pockets fill up with water, the shirt, the, the equipment we have on us, all the different things you have on it, the belt and everything. Everything is now, since it's the end of the day, it's completely waterlogged, dirty waterlogged. Oh, yeah. And we're exhausted at this point in time. So I give so many props to him for being able to do something like that. It was a, it was an intense fight sequence that we could both do. When we were bent over, uh, exhausted in that fight sequence and giving each other a moment, we were bent over and exhausted in that moment. Yeah, <laughs> there was, oh, there, there that was, was real real acting was in that. People, people need to know that was authentic. It was not, a, it was not like part of the movie. It was like, this was real. This was what really happened. It was, it was intense. What would you think was, what was, what do you think was uh, like, besides that, like, what do you think was else was difficult? Was it just shooting in that water and. Well, the thing was, it was still during COVID and we were all locked in a small room. So 11 of us got COVID. Oh, wow. So we had to shut down for 11 days until we could all get better. Oh, that's insane. Wow. And that was just the last day. Whoa. Well, at least, you know what? That just shows how dedicated you guys are to getting that film, the film done. Because going through all that and then that intense fight scene in that nasty water, I mean... After I had been sick for COVID for 11 days. Yeah, I exactly. And, get, and then getting your face pushed into that water. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, you're a trooper. Well, pun intended, you're a trooper. <laughs> I, I, I'll take the compliment when I can get it. <laughs> I was disgusted with myself for being in that water. I'm just going to tell you that much. I was like, this is the most disgusting and grossest thing. It's just so, and, and you know, like I get dunked under just before I get dunked under, I'm seeing a cockroach walking across the water and I'm like, oh I get dunked under water. I come back up. The cockroach is in pieces now. Oh my God. I don't know in the fight somehow, either another cockroach was in pieces or that one somehow got messed, tangled up in our stuff somehow, or somebody smashed it and oh. there was now wings and bits of it. And it was, oh my God, that's just, man. I would have been I would have been nauseous if I was on the set of that. Just seeing that, look, oh, I'm done. <laughs> well, I have just gotten over COVID too, so yes, I yeah. was nauseous. <laughs> so you de yep, you definitely just showed that you're a trooper and dedicated. So, with that said, what's next for you after this movie? Well, right now I have uh, I also have Matt Heidi coming out on demand right now. I watched uh -huh. it. I saw Matt Heidi. You were oh, awesome. Great. You were oh, awesome. thank you, man. You and, were I awesome. Have, and I have daughter out right now. Yep. And I have uh, uh, Caroline No Fear, where I play a bad cowboy. And then I have Ch Part of a Champion, where I play a good cowboy. And then I also have coming out in September a Tom DeLonge from Blink-182 film called um, uh, called uh, Monsters of California. And uh, it's kind of like an Amblin film, like an E.T. film, but it's got all of his, uh, you know, he does all that, those ancient alien stuff. He does all that stuff. All of it's in there. That is, it's just cool. It's a cool movie. That's so awesome. But yeah, I yeah, I definitely saw Matt Heidi. You were like the king of cheese. And I don't mean I mean that literally and figuratively. You were just phenomenal in it. I appreciate that. Yeah, because I had that one come out and daughter. I have daughter out where I play yep, a saw that one too. Yep. Now, and Hunt Club. I saw you in Hunt Club also. So yeah, so I mean yeah, Hunt Club. David Lipper just asked me if I would do the sequel. No, nice. For nice. Hunt Club. So I guess they they did well enough that they want to do a sequel. Awesome. Well, in the meantime, The Flood will be out on July 14th. Everyone's got to have to check this one out. I mean, those who love fight scenes are going to want to check out this fight scene with you and Louie. And Casper, man, it's been an honor to talk to you again, man. And I cannot wait to talk to you more in the future.
Oh, me too. Thank you so much. Make right. sure you Instagram and tweet it to me, and I'll retweet it in Instagram. Okay. Yep, definitely. All, All right. right. Take care. Okay. All right. Bye.